Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the slots concept. We have seen. We have seen about the slots concept, right? Now in this video, we will try to see about the named slots. What are these named slots? So right now in the previous video, we have seen only the single slots. So that means only the single data. So for example, you will be you you are placing this say. Single the, the HTML code, whatever the HTML code you are writing in between the button tag, okay. The component you are placing directly there. So if you want to place the parts of the data wherever you want, so how we can use that one? So we will try to see it in the neighbor slots. This one. So now before we continue to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. So the so that I'll be posting more and more front end development courses. Okay, now. Let's see about the named slots. Named slots, the name itself implies that the slots we can define the name for that one. Okay, let's try to see with a simple example. Now I will try to create a component that is nothing but what I can say is it's a profile card. Okay, profile card dot view. Here I will be having a template. So I will be having a template. One second. I will be having a template here. Okay, now I will be having a template. Now, what I will try to do is here I will write the script. This is the script. Okay, this is the script. And here, what I can do is so here export default. So I can write export default like this. In this in this template code, what I will write is I will try to define a card. That means how it will be is define do and do class is equal to header. I can write it as header and in this header so I will get the data from there and here I can write do class is equal to content and I will get the HTML data from there and here I will be getting the do class is equal to footer. So this is the card what is the card uh, profile card I am having. Now I want to use this profile card how I can use this you let us import the profile card here import profile card from dot slash components slash profile card dot u so i have used this one and let me use this here what i can do so here i can write the profile card so this is the thing now let me remove this image and let me remove one button also so that it will be very easy for us uh, for looking so now here I will try to create the profile card. Okay. So I will try to create the profile card. Before continuing this one, let's see the output. Okay. So right now we don't have anything. So I am having only the two buttons. Now here what I will try to do is so I will try to design a profile card. Here I need to have a header. Okay. So what I can say is header header thing. I want to write the header content. Okay. Just assume that you so what I can write header title. Now oh, another header title. I will be having another one uh, content. Okay, let's assume. And here uh, div content. Okay. And now another one. I am having the footer. Uh, I will be having the div footer message. So this this one is the profile card. So whatever the header you are having, I am uh, the data. So inside this header, I am having it should be placed in between this one. Okay. And the content message, whatever the HTML HTML data present inside this content, it should be placed inside the content here. And the same scenario, whatever the data, HTML data we are having inside the footer tag, it should be placed inside the footer tag. We need to place like this. Okay. So how we can do? So previously the slot thing means so whatever the things written between this one directly it will go and wherever you mention the slot like this, it will place in the place of there. Okay. It will be replaced in the place of slot. But now the parts of the HTML code should be placed in the respective thing where we need to mention. So now we need now in this scenario we need to give the named slots naming convention. So this one name we need to give this one name and for this one also we need to give a separate separate names for this one so that we will mention the name here so that it will be replaced automatically there. Okay. Now we will try to write the names for this one. So how we can write the name here header and we need to replace this one with the template. Okay. And we need to give a B hyphen slot the name whatever the name you want you can mention okay header so I can mention this one with the header and in the same scenario you can write here template V hyphen slot 
content you can write the content okay and in the same scenario here i can write template b hyphen slot footer okay we need to give the names like this template and in between this one we need to mention like this okay now let's go to profile card and here we need to mention slot okay and we need to mention the name whatever the name we have used there v hyphen slot call and header we have used right the name whatever the name we mentioned here we need to mention here okay so that the content present inside this first slot it will be replaced here the same scenario i can write slot name is equal to here i am having right content like this i can write and here also slot name is equal to footer i can write the name is equal to footer now let's go and let's see see here we can we will be able to see the content and everything we are able to see right right now what we'll write is so just we'll do some design okay so that it will be very nice for looking so here i can go style scope okay this is out of the concept but let's uh, design this one so that it will be very nice header i am i am doing the header okay i will give the background color background of hash e okay i will give font size font size of 20 pixel and here i will add something like card okay card and here i can go and here i can mention the card and uh, what i can do so border one pixel solid hash e i can give and the box shadow what are the back box shadow you want you can keep one pixel just i'll keep something uh like this zero 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 whatever thing you want we can mention now this is the basic thing let's go and see the output and here we are able to see the box shadow and all those things and let's go here what we'll try to do is dot container and i can write dot row dot call mod 4 call mod 5 we have written call mod 4 and i will copy this all profile code here and i will paste it in this one so that for looking wise it will be somewhat nice okay the card we are able to see and here what i can do is so giving this one we can do hash ge i can give okay so that uh, somewhat will better and the header how the header is coming header i have given the okay content will give some gap and here i can write the content so these are all designing purpose so padding so top and bottom i will give the 10 pixel and uh, left and right i will give the 10 pixel 20 pixel and 10 pixel okay the gap has become footer message also what i will try to do is so here dot footer and i will try to do background color whatever the background color you want you can mention i will mention again e but the font size what i will try to do is font size i will try to give the 10 pixel only so like little small size okay so it, it it will be the small font now this is the card so we have designed this normal card here so whatever the content you want to mention you can mention it directly here so if you want to write if you want to have the content means so here i can write div the content message whatever the message you want you can mention it here and you will be able to get the data okay content and content message you are able to get the data see so now we have designed the named slot so whatever the slot you want you can mention it here and here what i can do is for example if you don't if you don't want to if you want to default you can also mention the default slot here then automatically what it will happen is there is no need to mention for that uh, default one like this okay if you want to mention name is equal to default you can mention or otherwise slot you can mention like this now then also it will work it will, without any problem it will work okay so this is how we can define the we can design the named slots in the vue.js so the profile the uh, temp the component will be there inside you will be having a list of templates and it will be having the name so whatever the name you are giving for this slot automatically the slot name is equal to will be giving the same name for this one Okay, this is how we will be designing the name slots in the QJS. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.